There are moments in astronomy when everything you thought you understood about the universe is quietly rewritten. Not by a dramatic announcement, not by NASA's polished live streams, not by a sudden global alert, but by a handful of images released without warning, without ceremony, from a spacecraft orbiting a lonely red planet. That is exactly what just happened. While the world waited anxiously for the delayed NASA HIRIS images trapped behind a 43-day government shutdown, China did something no one expected. The Tianwen-1 orbiter, a mission never designed for deep space observation, turned its medium resolution camera toward a faint green speck drifting far beyond the orbit of Mars. And when the images returned, they didn't just match what NASA, ESA, and independent astronomers had been whispering for months. They confirmed it. They confirmed the behavior. They confirmed the anomalies. They confirmed the one fear scientists were reluctant to say out loud. The strangeness of 3i Atlas is not an artifact. It is real, universal, and now independently verified from another planet. The object's green glow, its unnatural jets, its impossible stability, its sunward plume, its rhythmic pulses, everything Western astronomers struggled to explain, captured cleanly from 30 million kilometers away by a spacecraft orbiting Mars. Whatever 3i Atlas is, whatever force drives it, whatever story it carries from another star, China has now placed the evidence in humanity's hands. And tonight, we're going to break it down, piece by piece, image by image, until the mystery becomes impossible to ignore. When Tianwen-1's images were published through China Daily and amplified across Xinhua, the scientific community froze. The object was unmistakable. A green-blue, elongated nucleus glowing like a shard of emerald drifting through the void. Surrounding it, a narrow reflective band and a faint ion tail curving slightly toward the sun, a detail that immediately electrified planetary scientists. Because according to standard physics, the ion tail of a comet should always point away from the sun, pushed by solar wind and radiation pressure. But here, captured from Mars orbit, was a plume defying that rule, bending sunward in a way that shouldn't be possible unless something else, something active, was influencing the emission. The images also revealed a luminous halo of fine dust fluorescence around the core, like layers of escaping light peeling from the surface. Chinese analysts measured the jets at nearly 100 kilometers long, far larger than expected for an object this size. These jets radiated in patterns that appeared symmetrical and rhythmic, almost like a controlled pulse. But the detail that shocked everyone was this. The nucleus showed no signs of fragmentation whatsoever. The body was whole, solid, unbroken, despite months of violent outgassing observed from Earth. China had confirmed what astronomers feared. The object is acting, not just evaporating. For months, scientists across the West had documented a pattern of anomalies that pushed 3i Atlas far beyond the realm of normal comet physics. Brightness surges far from the sun, acceleration inconsistent with gravity alone, jets firing toward the sun itself, and faint pulses that behaved like a cosmic heartbeat. Critics insisted the telescopes were miscalibrated, the images overprocessed, the interpretations exaggerated. But now, with the Tianwen-1 dataset confirming the green tone, the stability, the plume behavior, and the long-range jets, the debate collapsed instantly. China's observation point was completely different. Another planet, another vantage, another spacecraft, another atmosphere, another sensor configuration. And yet the images matched the anomalies almost perfectly. This meant only one thing. The behavior of 3i Atlas is not local, not instrumental, not accidental. It is intrinsic to the object itself. It brightens when it shouldn't. It expels material aggressively at distances that shouldn't activate cometary physics. It pulses like a rotating system with internal drivers. It accelerates without debris clouds that should accompany non-gravitational thrust. And now Mars orbit confirms all of it. The strangeness is real. The implications, enormous. Tianwen-1's medium resolution camera wasn't built for deep space comet studies, but with precise adjustments to exposure and orientation, it captured something that had only been hinted at from Earth. Jet symmetry. The images revealed faint, rhythmic, multi-directional plumes that look almost like miniature thrusters firing in coordinated intervals. Some of these jets pointed away from the sun as expected, but others pointed toward it. 
This alone defies standard comet models, which rely on sunlight heating subsurface ice. Water vapor cannot produce sunward jets without violating basic thermodynamics. But tick by tick, pulse by pulse, the jets repeated in cycles of roughly six hours, consistent with rotation or controlled venting. These findings matched Earth-based telescopes that had observed heartbeat-like pulses for months. Now, with confirmation from Mars, the patterns appear not chaotic, not random, but structured. And that is the word that makes scientists uneasy. Structured jets, structured pulses, structured outgassing. These are not signatures of passive evaporation. They are signatures of system behavior. The next question is obvious, but no one wants to say it out loud. The spectroscopic readings Tianwen-1 collected added another layer of unease. Embedded within the faint emissions were peaks corresponding to nickel and magnesium, metals that appear in comets, yes, but almost never in such dominance. The nickel-heavy signature mirrored earlier detections from Earth-based spectrographs, but China's data from Mars made it unambiguous. These metals are not simply present, they are playing an active role in the emission spectrum. Nickel dominance suggests either highly unusual formation conditions or the possibility of cosmic ray-altered crusts after billions of years in interstellar space. But combined with symmetrical jets and sunward plumes, the data caused some scientists to ask whether the object has cavities or chambers that vent material in non-natural ways. Add to that the thermal signature, inconsistent with solar heating at its distance, and the picture becomes even stranger. The surface of 3i Atlas was warmer than it should be. Either internal heat is being generated, or the material is responding to electromagnetic interactions in a way no known comet does. Neither interpretation is comfortable. Both force us to reconsider the boundary between natural and unnatural. NASA's original fear wasn't that 3i Atlas was dangerous. The orbit is safe, the pass by distance secure. Their fear was interpretational, that the anomalies weren't artifacts, that the object was truly behaving in ways that defy known comet physics, that the missing high-risk images, delayed by governmental chaos, might reveal the same features ESA and independent astronomers were detecting. If China's images matched that behavior, then NASA would be forced to confront the implications directly. And that is exactly what happened. The green glow, the unbroken nucleus, the rhythmic pulses, the sunward plume, the acceleration without fragmentation. China confirmed every major anomaly, which means the scientific community can no longer hide behind calibration excuses or processing errors. 3i Atlas is behaving like nothing we've seen before, and for NASA, this means the high-risk images, when finally released, may show features they are not yet ready to contextualize. The fear is not danger, it is paradigm collapse. China's data accelerated the moment when that collapse becomes unavoidable. With the images in hand, two hypotheses have surged into global debate. The first is the natural hypothesis, that 3i Atlas is an ultra-ancient interstellar object whose crust has been hardened and chemically transformed by billions of years of cosmic ray bombardment. In this model, volatile pockets buried deep beneath the crust explode intermittently when heated, creating bursts that appear controlled but are simply chaotic chemistry, nature's version of a primitive engine. The second hypothesis is the technological relic hypothesis, that the jets are not random at all, but deliberate emissions, possibly stabilizing vents, possibly remnants of internal systems, perhaps the decayed functionality of a probe older than our sun, not aliens watching us, but an archaeological artifact drifting through the galaxy still performing basic behaviors long after its creators are gone. Both hypotheses are consistent with the anomalies. Both are scientifically viable, but only one can be true. And the Tianwen-1 images push the object closer than ever to that line where nature ends and technology begins. For the first time in human history, we now have observational data of an interstellar object captured from Earth, Mars orbit, and heliocentric spacecraft. This triangulation gives us something unprecedented, true three-dimensional validation. The green tone, confirmed. The coherence of the nucleus, confirmed. The intensity of the jets, confirmed. The sunward plume, confirmed. The stability of the object despite violent emissions, confirmed. These multi-planet observations mean the anomalies are not only real, they are universal, measurable from any vantage point. 
The data alone is extraordinary, but what matters even more is what it symbolizes, collaboration. China didn't hide the data, they released it immediately. In a moment when global politics fracture everything else, science created a bridge that spanned nations and planets. And that bridge just exposed a mystery we are not prepared to explain. On December 19th, 2025, 3 I Atlas will reach its closest pass to Earth, a still safe 270 million kilometers, but close enough for a worldwide observational campaign unlike anything before. The Galileo project will track the object using telescopes across three continents, measuring its acceleration, its thermal output, its rotation, and the periodicity of its jets with unmatched precision. If the pulses are random, chaotic, unstable, it is natural. If the pulses are periodic, structured, predictable, then something far more profound is happening. China's images were the first blow, December may be the second. And somewhere in the middle of those two moments lies a truth we are rapidly running out of time to ignore. When you step back and assemble everything, the jets, the symmetry, the strange thermal readings, the metallic chemical fingerprints, the sunward plume, the impossible stability, the rhythmic pulses, the unbroken nucleus, the acceleration without debris, a pattern begins to form. And it's a pattern that is now impossible to dismiss. Not because of speculation, not because of fear, but because for the first time in human history, another planet has confirmed the anomaly. A spacecraft orbiting Mars has photographed an interstellar object behaving in a way that violates the physics we rely on to understand the solar system. You can debate interpretations. You can debate meaning. You can debate origin. But you can no longer debate the data. Because China didn't just release images, they released validation. NASA feared this moment. The moment an independent nation, using independent instruments, from an independent vantage point, would reveal that the anomalies were not processing errors, not sensor noise, not hype, not misinterpretation, but the true nature of 3i Atlas. A nature that does not follow our rules. A nature that does not obey internal melting models. A nature that does not break under stress the way comets should. A nature that does not form tails the way dust should. A nature that does not pulse the way outgassing should. A nature that does not accelerate the way natural bodies should. China has now forced the world to accept something uncomfortable. The object is acting with a consistency and precision that should not belong to a crumbling ball of ice drifting between stars. And that is why the scientific community is stunned. Not because 3i Atlas is dangerous, its trajectory is harmless, but because it is different. Different in a way we cannot yet categorize. Different in a way that makes models shiver when they try to fit the data. Different in a way that turns astronomers into archaeologists, digging through ancient cosmic behavior looking for something, anything, that resembles what they're seeing now. Because what if this object is older than Earth by billions of years? What if its crust is the frozen memory of a star system long gone? What if the jets are the last breaths of an ancient relic struggling to maintain equilibrium after a journey through cosmic radiation fields we can't even simulate? What if the pulses are not signals, but the ticking of internal chambers releasing pressure like an ancient heartbeat echoing through the void? Or what if, and this is the question no one wants to ask, what if 3i Atlas is behaving this way not because it is dying, but because it is functioning? Functioning according to laws or mechanisms we don't understand. Functioning according to a design shaped by forces older than our sun. Functioning in a way that makes our distinctions between natural and engineered look naive. Because the truth is simple. Comets should not survive what this object has survived. Comets should not eject what this object ejects. Comets should not glow how this object glows. Comets should not accelerate how this object accelerates. Comets should not behave the same way when viewed from Earth and Mars. And yet this one does. So here we stand, months before its closest approach, looking at data from two planets pointing to the same conclusion. Something about 3i Atlas is operating outside the boundaries of known comet behavior. Something about its structure is resisting collapse. Something about its chemistry is rewriting expectations. Something about its emissions is raising questions no one wants to answer in front of a camera. China didn't just confirm the anomaly. They confirmed the fear behind it. That for the first time, we are studying something that doesn't fit. Not because our instruments fail, 
but because our definitions fail. If this breakdown reshaped the way you see this object, don't disappear quietly. Subscribe, because the next data drop may force us to rethink everything again. Like this video so more people can see what is unfolding beyond Mars. And in the comments, tell me, is 3i Atlas a natural relic older than the sun? Or are we witnessing the behavior of something far more deliberate?